Crap and Abby and I have another project that is going into the playlist I'm going to create for projects for my daughter's room makeover renovation whatever you want to call it so this is a large letter K and it's, it's heavy it feels like it's plaster of Paris or something it's very very heavy and I found this today at Beals it was on the back wall I was there at Beals last week and I did not see this, so I don't know if this was just shoved behind some other pieces of framed art, or I don't know what. But it was the only letter left, and it's a K. And it was perfect, because that's how, you know, the initial for my daughter, Kaylee. K-A-L-E-Y is how I spell her name. And so the only thing is, I saw it, and I was like, oh man, bummer, there's a crack right there. But being a crafter, I can fix that. So I took it, and I found one of the clerks stocking the shelves, asked her if I could get this for a discounted price because it was broken. She said, sure, not a problem. Punched some stuff into her gun, blah, 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 blah. And I got this for a really super good price. So I'm really happy about that. This piece is really cool. And if they would have had an H for my last name or even an A, I would have bought one even almost full price because these are really super cute. But look at that texture. I love it. And I love how big this is. This is, this is really huge. Um, let me grab my ruler here. Oops, just knocked my ink stuff off. So this is, let's see, this is like 16 inches long. And from the widest part, it's about 12 and a half inches wide. So it's it's a big K. This is awesome. I was looking for this kind of statement piece to go at the head of our bed up on the wall um, above the um, fabric banner that I'm going to be creating, which will be another video in the same playlist. So watch for that. I don't know which one's going to get loaded first, but anyway. So what I'm going to do is just use some E6000 glue to adhere this, you know, just it's not broke all the way through, so I'm just going to kind of squeeze some glue in there, push it together, let it sit for a while, work on something else, and then once I feel this is solid enough, because I don't want it to fall off once it's hung on the wall and hit my daughter in the head, that would not be good. So I'll probably let this sit overnight just to make sure it's really good and solid. And then I have a couple different of the Apple Barrel uh, craft uh, paints, and I had grabbed the pool blue and the turquoise. So turquoise and kind of turquoisey teal and coral grays and black and obviously white is a mix those are really her favorite colors mostly teal and then coral but um those are accents the other ones so i wanted to grab a couple of these i wanted to see which one i like the best i'll do some you know tests on the side i can add some white if i need to take some away whatever i even thought about mixing in some of the sprays that I have in that same kind of color palette if I want to add a little bit of shimmer because this kind of has some really cool shimmer. Now I'm not going to be covering the K completely. I don't want to do that because I really like the fact that it's it's white which is a really nice kind of um, accent piece and it's going to kind of help you know not everything be teal and turquoise and coral and gray in her room. So it'll be really nice and plus the fact that I love the kind of gray color that's already on here kind of silver gray and the texture is really cool with the gray on it. I like it. So I'm just going to be doing like you know accenting like when you take your you know your um, ink blending tool. Let me grab one here. So like when I'm on the edge of paper you know I don't have paper to show you but pretend this is paper and you kind of dab it on the edges of your project that's what I'm going to be doing with the craft paint on the K I don't know if I'm I think I don't plan on doing it on the side even though it's solid I mean there's no texture on the side I don't know I'll see I'll probably test it on the bottom of the K first to see if I like it or not but that's the plan is just to kind of go around the you know perimeter of this large letter K so this is a really simple project this is like nothing you know major technique wise or anything just gluing it because it's cracked and then just putting paint on it so it's really super simple so i will share this project with you once it's done so if you want to see any other videos in the um i'll have to come up with a really catchy name for my playlist but i will have it edited here and then obviously linked in the description below so check out the other projects i have going on for her room and i will see you as soon as this is dry and i can go ahead and start painting this on camera with you ladies see you in a little bit Hi ladies, okay so I went ahead and just used some of that E6000 on this K what I, where I showed you it was broke in the last part of the video and it's right here um, is where the break is but it, it held really well. I mean I'm picking it up and that's what it broke before and something else I didn't realize so I took out the packaging it has this really nice um, you know kind of the velvety backing and so I want to really try to keep this clean from getting paint and stuff on it but this is really cool look how thick that backing is so it'd be you know nice some good hook, hooks there to hang on our wall above her head it's going to be really really super cute so what I'm going to do is not a lot to this 
not a lot at all because I think it's beautiful just the way it is. But I kind of want to make it pop just a little bit. So I'm just going to be taking some of this turquoise that I've been working with on some other projects for her room. Just dumped it into one of my painting containers. And I'm going to take this foam brush and I'm just going to dab it a little bit. And I'm just going to just kind of just kind of go over the edges just a little bit. Not to really make it an outline, but just to kind of add just a little bit of texture. Kind of like when you use your distress tools and um, ink along the edge of a project or something. So that's kind of my thought process. So my, my camera's about to die, and I really want to get this done because I want this to dry so I can actually start getting things hung up tomorrow. So I'm not going to videotape this part just because all I'm going to be doing is dip it in the paint and just basically going like this along, you know, along the edge, kind of like this. And I'm using a foam brush because I don't want it to um, be like a precise line. And it's kind of spotchy with these, plus there's all this raised texture. So I really kind of want to let it just kind of grab onto the, the uh, turquoise paint wherever it wants to. That's all I'm going to be doing. It's not like any major technique or anything like that. So I will be back once my camera is charged and I have this letter K all done. So I'll see you ladies in a little bit. Bye! Hey ladies, so I thought I filmed the final um, part of this video, but I guess I did not. So now it's a little bit later in the day, so I apologize if the lighting is poor. I have a couple lights on in her room, but I wanted to share with you what the large K looked like. Of course, you can also watch the final room video, which has better lighting, and I'll have that linked below in the description box. But I did want to include at this um, small clip at the very end of that tutorial video, just so you can kind of see the final product. So this is the K that I altered. And it was just a real subtle thing. It wasn't nothing, you know, too aggressive or anything. I just took that craft paint that I shared with you in the first part of the video around the edge of the letter K, and I kind of went dark in a couple of different spots just to kind of accentuate that teal color and so it would kind of pop off of that white. I love the fact that they um, already had kind of that really cool silver glittery bit in there on top of some of the raised white bumpies and I thought it just turned out really super cute. So this is just kind of another fun way that you can add some pop to your wall or whatever part of the home you're going to do it whether you know be on the wall or maybe you're going to um, put it you know on, on like a um, piece of furniture or something like that. It'd be really really cute. So that's part of the banner. Again it's almost getting evening time so the lighting's kind of dark but I just want to share with you what it looks like on her wall in her room and also don't always walk past something just because it's broken or slightly damaged because as a crafter, as crafters and creative people out there we can always fix those types of things or alter them enough to where you don't always see where the damage is or the flaw. Plus I got this for a discounted price because of that. So I showed you in the first part of the video where the broke where the break in the case and you can't even tell when you're looking at it. In fact my husband didn't even know it was, it was broke there when he went to hang it for me. So just want to share this with you ladies and as always happy crafting, happy scrapping and happy planning and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!